So I'm just gonna head start. Yeah. Um, so I just registered for my last semester and I'm kind of freaking out. I'm usually the one in my family that has like that level head and like has everything together. But like at this point, I have a twin sister and she um, just got back from her mission and she started school again. So she's like a sophomore. And so like, usually we've done everything together, but now we're at completely different ends of the spectrum. Um. And so usually I've had someone to be like, do it with. And this is like the first time that I haven't had anyone to like go through the experience with. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of scared because it's like I'm going out into the real world and I don't feel like I'm ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to have to be ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you kind of feeling alone and mm -hmm. by yourself? Okay. And can you go into more depth about uh, like the process you, you're thinking about mm -hmm. as graduation comes and you're just mm -hmm. not being there? Yeah, so I mean, I've talked to my sister about it, but she doesn't, she can't really relate, and so I feel like I can't really talk to anyone about it. And like the whole thing with like finally registering for my last semester and like seeing that end actually in sight, whereas like this semester I was kind of like, oh yeah, like it's it's coming up, like it'll happen. But now that like, I actually have to apply for graduation and figure out an internship, and like I could go anywhere, like I can move anywhere, I could do anything. Like, I'm just, I have no idea what to do. It just scares me. So, the fear of the unknown is kind of coming totally. to the with you? <laughs> totally. Okay. Um, what, what does your sister think about all of this? Has she said anything to you about it? Um, is she in kind of like the opposite boat of like yeah. being behind? I mean, she, Tim, like when I talked to her about it, she's just kind of like, oh, that does, like, you can do it, I believe in you, like, you're, you always do good. Which I appreciate, but it's like, when I'm having to think about like, oh, like I'm not married, okay, I can like, I want to eventually get married, but then, so I want to go somewhere with a good YSA, but, but I need to find a paid internship because I have no money and I'm going to have to buy a car and like li live on my own. And like, my parents are being really nice and supportive, but like, I just feel the added pressure mm -hmm. of becoming like a real adult, you mm -hmm. know, and like going out into the real world by myself. But <clears throat> I think, like, the main thing is just that, like, I know everything will work out. It's just that step of, like, having to get to that point. Because mm -hmm. I'm a huge planner, and I like to have my life and, like, other things in my life planned out pretty well, like, way ahead of time. I'm not, like, annoying friend that's always, like, what are we doing, like, three days beforehand and not, like, the night of saying, oh, let's go do this. Like, yeah. so it's just hard for me when things aren't figured out. It just, like, adds stress. I can relate to that. I have been anticipating graduation this semester, and so the fear of the unknown is coming closer and closer, and I mm -hmm. don't know what I'm going to do. But I definitely think it helps, like, having your friends and family that are really supportive, like you said, that are trying to help you figure it out, so that helps mm -hmm. a ton. Um, what... How, do you, how are you viewing your classes this semester? Like, how is it just focusing on this coming <clears throat> week, month, and the rest of the semester, how is all of that going? I think that's how I'm like coping with all the stress, is I'm just telling myself like, hey, one week at a time, one day at a time, you know, one assignment at a time, because <clears throat> I am getting out, I'm in those like upper division four and level classes that are really demanding, and like, but that's hard because I'm trying to just focus on that, but then because I'm such a planner, I'm like thinking about the future. And everyone tells me, like, oh, just enjoy this semester, enjoy your last year, don't worry about things. But then I have, like, one of my best friends, she's graduating this semester and still doesn't have an internship figured out or anything. And that scares me because I don't want to get to that point either. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I don't know, like, it's just overwhelming for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, going back to your sister, um, mm -hmm. What do you think you've told her so far that, or what do you think you haven't told her so far that you wish you could tell her? I really like that. Um, I wish I could tell her that like it's okay for her to not be able to completely relate to me. Because she's a return missionary, and I think she feels the need to be like connect on that level with everyone. And we're super close because we're twins, and we've done everything together. But. I feel like sometimes it seems really insincere to me when she's trying to relate because I know she can't. 
and that part because I'm like I love her and I get sometimes I just want her to be like wow that sounds really hard like I can't imagine going through that. Mm -hmm. So you've related with her on all these levels your entire life, especially since y'all are twins. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of been difficult to come to grips with the fact that mm -hmm. you're struggling with all of these different situations compared to her situations and they're not meshing together. Yeah, and like her life is so different from mine. Like she's in what ways? She's like the complete opposite of me. She's like shorter, super skinny and like crazy social i mean she's going on dates every weekend and i'm like super happy for her but it's like she'll call me and she'll like oh yeah i made out with this guy on a second date and i'm like what are you doing and then like the next week it's all like broken off and like she went on a mission and we have just completely taken two different paths and so i think like and she just also views things very differently like i try to make an effort to go see her but then she doesn't make an effort to come see me. Like the only reason she's coming up to Rexburg is for my graduation. And like, she's just down in Provo. And like, I go down to Utah at least once or twice a semester. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, why can't you like just come up for a weekend? And she's like, oh, I'm just super busy. I'm like, we're all busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... Is there anything that scares you about being in a different situation than her? I think yes, because like she, we've always done things together and like when it's been a tough situation we've leaned on each other because we both can really relate but because she can't relate on to me like I feel like I don't have her as that support system anymore. Okay. And I think like for me it's probably a good thing to like learn how to just do it on my own but then it's hard because I want her to be there with me because like, mm -hmm. we've always done things together. So you're feeling like further and further disconnect from mm -hmm. her and you feel like you're growing apart and drifting apart because you're growing up in real life is happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And like when we talk on the phone, it'll be like our normal conversations, but it just seems different because she's like a sophomore, like just applying for her program and I'm getting ready to graduate and we just have both very different lives and mm -hmm. so it's like... Do you mean different than what it used to be or just <clears throat> different situations that you're all, I think all are in? Both. both. Like, because we're both very, we've taken the two different paths, and you know, she's in Provo and doing all those other things, and I'm about to graduate, and like, I don't know what I want to do after I graduate, I'm just looking for an internship I'm interested in, and she has her whole life figured out, like, her career, and so I think, like, part of me is, like, jealous, because I'm like, I wish I had it all figured out, and I wish part of, I had part of her life, but then I'm kind of happy with mine because it's like I know this is like what God wants me to do mm -hmm. and what I'm supposed to go through but I think it's just hard for me to like come to terms with all of that. Yeah so to me it sounds like you're struggling to not <coughs> compare yourself to her and mm -hmm. struggling to find the individualism with a situation where you've kind of like been coupled with someone your entire life mm -hmm. and you're now coming to the real world, as you call it, and yeah. you have to come to grips with those emotions and those feelings of <clears throat> doing things that are difficult and hard and um, that you used to be able to rely on someone to, to do it with you, but now you have to do, a, a, do it all on your own and it's mm -hmm. completely different than what this person wants to do. Yeah, I think that was definitely true. Like. My whole life, like, we've been compared by other people, and still, like, we'll go home for Christmas, and everyone in the world compares us, and, like, what she want our mission, and everyone's like, well, why aren't you going? And so it's like, I have to constantly fight. I feel like I have to fight everyone else to not compare myself, but it's so much harder for me, like, me to do that when everyone is comparing. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it's hard because, like, I feel like my parents can't even relate to my situation because they were married before they graduated. And so I feel like I'm kind of the first one in my family to like be graduating without having someone there. It's so, like a twin sister or you know a spouse or a boyfriend mm -hmm. and I'm like, I don't feel like I have anyone to relate to. Okay. <clears throat> so do you feel like you, so you're feeling like your family is kind of disconnecting as well as the situation progresses? I think disconnecting like just in a way of being able to like relate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but like we're still close and we still talk but it's just hard because like all my parents can like keep telling me like, you can do it like we believe in you but mm -hmm. I wish I had someone that was like I know your situation like I've been through it or I'm going through that and like 
here's some things that could help. Yeah. Or just someone to like understand exactly what they're going through. Yeah. Well, I think it's that's important to remember, like you just said, Heavenly Father does have a plan for you, mm -hmm. and it's important to remember that that is probably a fear that a lot of people have graduating, whether they have a job or not, is they're going to have to go through and come to grips with graduating on their own and being on their own and doing all these things on their own and um, finding a job on their own, living on their own, whatever the case may be. It can, it's a pretty normal thing to feel these emotions and to feel these ways, but yours just may seem a little more extreme because you are and you've had that comparison your entire life. Yeah. And I think it's a positive and a negative being a twin. Like I love being a twin. I've had a best friend like my yeah. whole life through everything. Yeah. <clears throat> but then it's hard because now it's like we're past that point where we're gonna do everything together. Yeah. And I think sometimes I miss that. I miss having someone always there with me and like being able to like always just talk to her because now she's super busy and I'm super busy and I think we're still close but definitely not as close as we used to be, like back when we both lived at home. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just really hard. Yeah, Cool. Thanks. <laughs> there was one moment, though, where you said something, and, like, something clicked in my head, and then I completely forgot it. And I was so mad at myself. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, oh, I should totally ask this question. And then I completely forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. We should bring that up one more time. I'm already moved on. Okay. Oh, perfect. So, I think that was really good. You definitely made me, like, think about what I was feeling and more of the reasons why I was feeling it. Like, I don't, I didn't realize that, like, part of the reason I felt so, like, I don't know, like, unbalanced in this whole situation is because, like, my family can't relate. So, I really like that you brought that up. I did notice that you, like, would catch yourself from op doing a closed question to open question, so that was really good. <laughs> and I thought you were really good at, like, it was okay that you paused and thought about it. Like, I didn't feel awkward, like, okay, now there's an awkward silence. Like, it mm -hmm. felt really natural. Um, I did think that you elaborated a little too much. I know, like, we've talked about this, like, when you would be reflecting, um, you'd be, like, bringing, you'd be normalizing, but then you'd add in, like, previous experiences. Which is good, but at some point I felt like you were kind of rambling on about like, oh, when people go through this and this and this and this, like, you gave a lot of examples. Okay. Um, but I did like that you normalized a lot, of how you felt, especially because I was feeling like, oh, I don't even relate to you, and then, yeah. then you were like, oh, like, I'm kind of in that same situation. I'm like, okay, I can talk a little bit more about this. Yeah. Um, I think, that was just, it was good. Um, <laughs> I think your attending was really good. I felt like you were really listening to me and like trying to put yourselves in my shoe. Um, that was really bad grammar. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, you definitely, I think you used that advanced empathy because I felt like you were paying attention to me and you were trying really hard to understand where I was coming from, mm -hmm. which added to the normalizing and just made me feel really comfortable with that. Um, but I would. You did ask it like one or two closed questions. Yeah. But like I was, like I felt like I could just elaborate on the answer. Mm -hmm. So I kinda keep going. Um but your disclosure was good. Kept it very minimalistic. Which is so perfect. Okay, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs>